hey guys welcome back to my channel so me and my daughter here beautiful isn't she decided to try Maryland and check out the seafood we've heard so much about the crab cakes um, here at GNM restaurant we decided to give it a go check us out as we sample some of the best seafood in Maryland Guys, we are back here again, mother, daughter, tag team duel, and we're here in Maryland. We are in, um, so the best way to do our crab cake would be the crab cake platter. It comes in a single or double. A good visual of the size of the crab cake that comes in the single is the inside ring of your little white plate right there. Okay. That's pretty big. Back here. It's like half the size of a softball. Right here. A double is two of those. Now it comes with two sides, as do most of our entrees do. You can find your sides down in the bottom left corner of your menu. Veggie of the evening is green beans. We steam it, and then after it's steamed, we lightly season it with olive oil salt. Okay. We also have a side salad that's available. It's not listed, so I like to remind my customers it's definitely an option if you like to do Can we that. do Caesar with that? We can do Caesar dressing, but not the traditional Caesar salad. So the garden salad is simple. It's the lettuce mixed croutons and two cherry tomatoes. So it's like Parmesan away from being a Caesar salad. Okay. <laughs> On the back, you have the bar menu. Um, we have an extensive bar menu. We also have an open bar, so you can pretty much get whatever you like. And then as for non-alcohol drinks, we have Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, ginger ale, sweet tea, and a sweet Okay, okay no awesome. No problem. Right. Glad I could tell you that. That was a, that was a quick rundown. Okay. Exactly, but it kind of gave you everything, everything. you might need to know. Yes. Exactly. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to grab you some bread and give you a couple minutes to get everything taken care of. That sounds good. Right. Do awesome. you want anything to drink? Yeah, I do. You order. I'm, I'm always the order. Yeah. Okay. What do you have a taste for? What you order? You want a cocktail or you want wine? I'll take a cocktail. A tasty one though. You like sweet? Yeah, sweet and strong though. Caribbean Storm would be what I would go with. It's got the pirate XO rum and then it's got the juices, the orange juice, and a little bit of pineapple juice as well. Okay. Um, Palmerita would be my next one. The red Palmerita. Sounds like a night of trouble. We've been in Maryland a total of an hour and a half, and right. here we are getting drinks and food mm, at okay. one of the best seafood restaurants here. I actually here. want to do the mojito. What Love flavors you. do you have, though? And we, we have the regular, and then we also have dragonberry and mango. Do the um, oysters on the half shell. What does it serve with, though? It comes with cocktail, but I always ask if you want Tabasco or horseradish with it. Um, you can do both. Yeah, everything would be absolutely fine. Okay. Thank you. 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 This is only my second time trying them. So Raw oysters? Yeah. Oh, I had them in Jamaica. Oh, did you? Yeah. I had them with like watermelon and mint um, and stuff. So. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. This is pretty simple. That was, that was in California. I know. I was in California. Well, you're back over here in Seafood Nation. <laughs> yeah. So I want to try it authentic. That's why I'm like, I don't know what it comes with. I'll make sure to bring all the things in. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, perfect. So we want to do those, and then we want to do the stuffed mushroom caps. And That's then, good. She's shaking her head. <laughs> okay, good. And then um, you're doing the, what's the salad you're getting? Caesar salad. The grilled crab season? No, no, no. I want a regular season with a um, protein added to the crab cake. Okay. That, why you don't get the other one? That sounds really good. What, the grilled? Yeah, the grilled crab season. I want the season. weekend for the crab cakes. All right. But the lump crab, the crab that's in the Caesar is not grilled. It's the same crab that comes in the crab cake, but it's not the crab cake. I got you. Yeah. So. Okay. I need the crab cake, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I need a traditional crab cake in Maryland. Okay. So we'll do a Caesar salad and we'll add a crab cake onto it, right? Yeah. It's not going to, is it going to come on it? It can come on the side if you like, so that way it doesn't get hot until you put it yeah. on there. It's no problem. We can do it on the side, though. And then, that's what I would suggest. Perfect. And then what is, um... What's Maryland crab soup? Now basically what that is, it's a vegetable soup that comes with crab meat in it. And it, if you don't like spicy food, it kind of has a kick. Now if spicy is kind of your thing, then you won't really feel it. It okay. won't be like a super kick at all. I got you. Okay. Which one was that? The Maryland crab. And what was the other one? The cream of crab. Yep. The cream of crab is kind of like a cream of chicken, cream of mushroom. Got you. It's Almost very like delicious. Kind of. Kind of, but way better. Okay. This is like the most <laughs> popular one that we have here. Okay. We put a little bit of sherry in it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like a sherry wine. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you want to try one and I try one? That's fine. We'll do so, one of each. Yeah, you want to do cup or bowl though. I feel like definitely, a cup is good. Yeah, definitely don't want to do a bowl. Yeah, so, so two cups, yep, one so, of each. Yep. Um, and I, I have think, one more question though. What was uh, the, I have like crumbs the grilled there. chicken something? Oh, chicken. What is that, Chesapeake? The chicken Chesapeake. What that is, is a chicken breast, and then we put a crab cake on top, 
and then we put the imperial sauce over top of it, and then we run it through the oven all together. What's the imperial sauce? Imperial sauce, it's kind of, you want to say it's uh, mayo based. It's is that your Maryland sauce, the famous sauce that everybody talks it. about? Is it like kind of like Yes, aioli? but ours is different, and if you want my honest opinion, i do it without. Okay. I wouldn't do the imperial sauce here, because okay. our imperial sauce is a little bit bitter. So really, you either really like it or you really don't. Since this is your first time here, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend it. Okay. That's kind of like something that you're going to have to like kind of try at another time. I wouldn't right. suggest it right okay. off the bat. I appreciate that. No, no, no problem at all. I don't want, I don't want you to get stuck with something you don't like. Perfect. You want to order anything else or you good? So what you get? Just soup? Yeah, I just want the soup and the appetizer and I'm just kind of never. I don't want to get too much food. If you I want to always order, leave a menu in case. Like, yeah, like if I want to order something else later, I will. I just don't want to be super full. On the crab cakes, what sauce? How do, how do people normally eat those? Well, we usually serve them as they are because they're delicious by themselves. And then, <laughs> and then we shameless plug. So highly of y'all. Our crab so. cakes are delicious by themselves. So usually we'll just serve like a little bit of cocktail or tartar, depending on whatever you like, on the side. And crab cakes speak for themselves. Okay. All right. Iris, they like. Absolutely. <laughs> So it's right now, less. just to double check, we have the oysters on the half, the cup of cream of crab, the cup of Maryland, the stuffed mushrooms, and then the Caesar salad with a four ounce crab cake on the side. Not is that the four ounces of the plate? Is that what that is? That's the eight ounce. Okay. So we, but we don't do, we don't have an a la mode eight ounce. We okay. only add, and when it comes to adding something on, we only do the four ounce, but the four ounce is just as delicious. Is it enough for us to both sample it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right, awesome. The, yeah, the crab meat that comes is back thin crab meat. I don't know if you know the anatomy of a crab, but that's like the thickest part. It's like the thigh of the crab. It's mm. delicious. Okay. And it's all thigh, the, all the back thin crab meat. You'll, you'll love it, trust me. Okay. <laughs> we trust you. Like, we thank trust you. you. We trust you. I'm going to go hang it. Everything started for you, okay? All right, thank you. No oh, if you can, get the oysters and the mushrooms out first. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, once perfect. those hit the table, then I'll go ahead and I'll bring everything else. No, well, I'm sorry. I forgot who I was talking to. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> you, you, you're like perfect, okay? Yeah. Oh, don't do that to me. I'm blessing. You can't see it, but... You need no instructions. Don't worry. I got you. All right. Thank you. Absolutely. All right. So we, cheers? We're here experimenting. Um, we do not eat seafood. This is her first time trying oysters that don't have mint leaves on them. Shut up. Watermelon had, and mint leaves. She had watermelon really and mint leaves in California. You know California want to serve everything with a mint cucumber slice and a little avocado yeah a little avocado everything's very fresh so guys these drinks are so good they look good i'm excited you're excited cheers. so we're gonna go ahead and share this is of course my travel buddy Leo, back in action daughter and mother team as always back in action all right y'all so i'm gonna share my cheers with y'all and then i'm gonna end this and i'm gonna go ahead and make a, a youtube video and do our reviews and the place that we are is called i think i tagged it is a gnm gnm restaurant. gnm restaurant that came in number two for um, the best crab cakes in Maryland. So we got into our hotel, washed our hands and our feet, <laughs> theoretically, and got Hardly. the hell on. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Cheers. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure y'all follow up for the YouTube channel. I'm in a YouTube video that's coming soon. And we are getting ready to smash food the whole weekend in Maryland. We are getting ready to eat like pigs and then we headed to Jamaica or elsewhere. We will keep you updated. I'm super ready, but this drink is so good. Hello, how are you? We're good, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right, we got soup already, y'all. It's time to go. It's go time. All right, so this is the cream of crab soup. Cream of crab. Maryland crab. Wait, hold on. The cream of crab. Maryland crab and the Maryland crab, which is um, soup it's like a vegetable soup. Ooh, Ooh, that looks yummy. Really good. Mm. Okay. You go first. You gonna taste it. You gotta give your honest review soon. No, I have no issue with that. Let me see. More description than that, ma'am. Well, is it tomato based? It's tomato based. I'm gonna try it. You know, I really do think I'm a food critic. Well, thank you. Really, no. It was literally, literally vegetable soup. I'm a little pig for real. We just like crab It's tomato based soup. It tastes like vegetable soup, but it has a kick hit of soup. It's tomato based though. It's more of a vegetable broth. 
I saw some taste tomatoes in there. I didn't get any crab meat because I'm, I'm not a crab lover. So I'm going to try mine now. So mine is a, a cream of, and it's real thick. Let's there see what it does. It's like a chowder. Actually, let me know. Turn it off. Alright, so. What's it doing for you? It's very crabby, but it's not like a canned crab like I've had from clam chowder. It's like a chowder almost. It's very mm. thick. It's very light. Even though it's a thick soup, it's light. It's not full of uh, dairy or... What's this? All the stuffed mushrooms. All right, guys. What, what is this? That would be the oysters. Oh, oysters, no. Oysters. He said she's going to bring some cocktail and some... Uh, Who eating them? Bro, you eating them. I don't know about that, y'all. I'm, I'm not feeling you know. that. You gonna eat those? I don't. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, y'all. All right. So, what you putting on them? Talk to me. All right. I got a little cocktail sauce. I got a little lemon. I'm gonna put a little hot sauce. What is this sauce that's in here? Oh my God. What sauce is that? I'm just trying stuff, so. I don't think you're supposed to put everything on here at one time. Well, I'm gonna try so she it. brought us back something. To hoard. Okay, so tell us how this works, really quick. Well, it really depends on your taste. Yeah. Now, if you if you like a little spice, only use a little bit of the horseradish. It's very strong. Right. So really, it all depends if you like a little bit of citrus to your seafood. Yeah. It's all. This is kind of like. So you do, do you mix all, all of them together or just whatever? Well, it's just kind of like. I would just do one of each. I wouldn't mix it all together. It all depends. Okay. It really just depends on your taste, whatever you like. All right, we're going to try it. Yep, just kind of dive in. That's the best way to do it. All right, thank you, Erica. You're welcome. My pleasure. So you're going to just do, mix them anyway? I only do little cocktails. What the fuck is that? Don't do that. <laughs> you're making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I'm just scared that I'm gonna have like bad oysters or something. I'm gonna be that person that has like a seafood reaction. Wait. Yeah. Don't, don't get that close. Don't do that. You and my business. Don't, don't get that close. Give me a description. Hello. I gotta drink another. I gotta, I gotta drink some more before I get to mine. Like seasoning. So with the lemon, it kind of kills like the kind of like fresh water, like that. Just soak whatever water to whatever. With the Tabasco and the which we call it, add the flavor to it. So with the combination of the lemon and like the spice, is that you really good? So can you taste the oyster itself? Or you just kind of texture, is what you taste? The texture, really, not the actual oyster. Like most people, it doesn't have an actual taste, but it's more so just a texture. But it's good though. All right, let me try it. All right. All right, so y'all, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I think I'm gonna try it with the horseradish. This is making some spicy, so, so get, get a little, little bit. You know, I love spicy, so I'm gonna try it with the portion. Do I drink that water? Yeah, when you pour it in your like, mouth, pretty much. <laughs> you gotta go drain it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, I'm gonna get a little horseradish. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. That's also lemon juice that I put on it, that's why. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm just gonna season it for everybody, not just for me. All right, come close and we look at this. So this is what I'm gonna do. Yes. I put horseradish on mine. I don't know why it's dripping, but I don't know. Cause you put like lemon it. juice on it, crazy. All right, so. <laughs> no, that's not how that go. I can't gotta, taste it. You gotta open wide and throw it back. So I can't taste it off. You gotta open wide and throw it All back. All right. Everything, wait, wait, before you do it with the fork, go ahead and loosen it up. So I don't be dumping it in my mouth? So that it just falls right in. All that? All that. Look, show it, pick it up. I'm supposed to eat all that? Yes, girl. It's stuck right here. That's where it attaches, so that's what you gotta, there you go. So don't eat that part, that's attached. There you go. All right, we got it, so. All right, y'all, I'm doing it. <laughs> you like it? Um, give us the flavor profile. Okay, so the horseradish and lemon have a nice flavor. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the horseradish and the lemon have a nice flavor. The meat itself doesn't really taste nasty or good. Exactly. And the texture is not weird and slimy as I thought it would be. It just tastes like seafood. Like most seafood just has like I don't like a, seafood because it tastes like this, but it doesn't taste real fishy. The lemon and the, and the flavor and whatever you put on it kind of take that away. It smells, it, it actually tastes clean. Mm -hmm. And that makes a difference. Um, I would imagine it would taste really good. Oh, over there, fuck it up. And I would imagine that it tastes really seafoody or fishy, but it doesn't. It's actually not bad. Um, not. What, I, what I like to eat a dozen. Nah, I think two is more than enough. I think one is enough. <laughs> but because we have six, we have to finish them. So I'll have to have it with Tabasco sauce and everything now. So that will be my next adventure. Um, we're going to smash these. And we're going to get back to y'all with these um, crab or stuffed mushrooms. This is next. Stuffed mushrooms with crab. Yum. Messed up. So we messed up. We got halfway through these. We got three down and one to go. The three to go. Because they only came with six. Is this something I can eat where I don't eat that part? Eat that part. All right, so I had another one. A belly button. Why are we trying to always compare something to a belly button or a penis? Why? We had these. Um, I had one with horse. I mean, with uh, Tabasco and cocktail. It was really good. It's good. It's tasty. Yeah. Okay. So now she's gonna do the um the stuffed mushrooms. Moving on. We doing some stuff. What we got over there? Oh, that's not a sip. Stuffed mushrooms with crab on top. Yes. Very excited about. Did you squeeze the lemon in? I didn't. Go ahead and squeeze that. Oh, that's a lot of crab in here. It is. I think I have enough mushrooms in here. <laughs> Ooh, look how look how white and flaky that crab is. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Amazing. That's good. Can I get a description? That's very good. The crab is obviously very fresh. It's very fresh. Lightly battered. The lemon sauce or lemon definitely make it pop. It's really, really good. It's like citrusy, not necessarily savory. It's very good though. Is citrusy from the stuff that you put on it or just in general? In general, as opposed to like savory. Yeah, I don't think they would have savory here. I don't know if they know the recipe to savory. It's great. Mm -hmm. On a one to ten, what would you give these? Then I did my first completely crab stuffed mushrooms. I would give them a ten. They're good. What, what did you have with stuff with before? Um, that's not true actually. I've had some before, but they had a lot of breading in them. They were up in Atlanta? Yeah. yeah. These don't have any breading for real. It was like a little bit of breading on top, but it's mostly, mostly crab. crab meat. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, they're good. All right, so guys, give me a minute. I'm about to get dig in some one. I want to taste it. I'm going to eat another oyster though because I know once I finish with these, I'm never eating this shit again. Mm -hmm. So let me just go ahead and get these knocked out real quick, y'all. Um, 
Yeah, I, I, I don't quite know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna do it. We committed and we in here. Yeah. I'm not a coward. I can do this. You got one more. You got one more, just tobacco sauce. I really like the watermelon. I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out because we only ordered six. We are experimenting. We said we would come to Maryland and eat all the seafood. So I'm only gonna go ahead and try these because we agreed to come to Maryland and eat all the seafood that we can find and that's get. That's not what we said. Well, not that we can find. <laughs> we would eat crab cakes and stuff to just give it a chance. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and bang this out real quick and get onto these right here because I haven't tasted Joe yet. But I know once I eat this, this last one, I ain't going back never, never again. again. Watermelon, mint, and everything, all other condiments from now on. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's not bad though. The texture reminds me of vagina. Mm -hmm. If I had to eat a vagina, that's what I would think it would taste like. The texture, like a, a meaty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you done? You had the last one? Put that tray over there. I'm so what I'm trying to eat now is this. And this looks like it's all crab meat. It is. Oh my god. It's good. Oh my god. Look how she's looking at them. <laughs> but they're very good. I'm trying to figure out what else I'm about to eat because I'm going to be hungry. Oh my god, these are amazing. I told you. Yeah, these are so good. Try this. Try Look at that crab in here. All right, these are amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and bang these out real quick. I have two to eat, and then I'm done. So I'll get back to y'all when this crab cake comes and let y'all know what that's hitting for. See you in a minute. Let me embarrass myself off of uh, camera. <laughs>